call the June 30th meeting of the House of Reform Cooperative School Board to order. Um, I need a processing server. Okay, I need a processing server. Any takers on the processing server? Yeah, processing server last time. Yes. Cindy, would you mind the sure. processing server? I, I think we're going to be pretty short. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing. Um, do we have any agenda adjustments? No, we do not. And we do. I mean, <laughs> if people haven't read them, you can always table it till our July meeting. Are we good to table them? I didn't. Yeah. Yes, I did not, absolutely. I did not read any exactly. minutes. Okay, can yeah. someone make a motion to table the minutes from June 17, 2020? So moved. Um, second. And all in favor? Okay. Any opposed? Okay, so we've got 5 1 0. So that's good. Shall we also table the public hearing minutes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So can someone make a motion to table the June 17th public hearing minutes? So moved. Second. And um, any discussion on that? All in favor? Tabling? Opposed? Mr. Solar is opposed. So it's 5-1-0. And then we also need to make a motion to table the non-public minutes from June 17th, 2020. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see those yet. So, uh, so moved. moved. So yeah. moved, by, moved by Cindy, second by Krista. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? Five. Uh, Non-public minutes table. What the heck? I, I shake things up. You're, so you're a no. No, I'll be a, a, no I'll be a yes. yes. You're a yes. Okay, sure. so six. Oh, Mr. Solon, you can wait. Okay. Are there any notices, nominations, resignation, or correspondence? I just wanted to let board members know that uh, I talked to Brian today. He's expecting bleachers in the next two to three weeks coming to, oh, coming to the site. And that we will be uh, finalizing the document with Quirk Construction to begin proceeding with the lights. We'll probably finalize that document this week. It's going back and forth electronically uh, and should be signed off by the end of the week. So those are the two big things that are going on right now with the field. Uh, as I stated at our last meeting, we're refinancing the turf field bond. We had two bids come in as a, re a result of our RFP. Uh, the first one was from TD Bank, and that was a rate of 2.0% to refinance. And the second was from First National Bank, and that was 2.43%. Uh, both bids, there are no prepayment fees, and there are no closing costs. So the total cost will just be that of the legal fees, which will range from $1,500 to $2,000. Uh, last time we had uh, a resolution, which I have copies for for the board members who just came in, and I'll give them out momentarily. What had changed was after we had made that motion and that vote, uh, when we sent it back to uh, bond council, he realized that he had failed to add in a interest payment, so it changed the calculation, so it's about uh, $4,000 less that we save per year. So we'll still be saving about $138,000 through the re refinance with the cost to us of about $1,500 to $2,000. Um, there's no other changes, and I'll distribute these now and take any questions off.
Amended and restated resolution to authorize one million five hundred fifty three thousand three hundred seventy four dollars twenty eight cents refinancing of the twenty eighteen high school turf bond to be adopted in form presented to this meeting and that an attested copy of said res resolution be filed with the minutes of this meeting. That was motioned by Tom, seconded by Tom. Is there any discussion on this? Tom? Um, what's the list? Is the missed interest payment every year? No, it, it, it comes up in August. And when he was doing the calculation, he just missed that we'd be making an interest payment in it, this coming August. So like is it only this year? For which the savings is lessened relative to what was previously discussed, or is it every year? The savings is decreased by about four thousand dollars over the light over the remaining eight and a half years. Okay, so it's not four thousand dollars per year loss of savings. It's only four thousand dollars over. No, it's four thousand dollars per year. We were going to save approximately twenty thousand dollars with last meetings figures. I'm just, how big is the interest payment that was missed? It was about, what was it? 58,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, just a comment, just because I, I know I've said similar things before, but for me, it would be very helpful to have some of that information up front ahead of a meeting, just to understand the impact because I am a numbers person to actually see them so it's hard for me to absorb things in a meeting and I think it's a little more transparent to put them up front so for future stuff I um, on previous board did a lot of bond stuff and we had kind of an impact statement before you know we'd have similar to what we had you know at the I know we had the the addendum that just had the two different interest rates <laughs> But we would have literally like chart form. This is what we get with this. This and it's for me. I got very used to it, and that's how I uh, understand. And I think it would have helped me understand this better, and maybe some others, and um, mm -hmm. not missed information. So just in the future, I would really appreciate that um, in advance to understand it better. Yeah, we're happy to do that. Just so you know, this arrived via FedEx today. Yep. Uh, with with yep. the pandemic, everything is changing, um, and what used to take a couple of days now takes a week. Sure, and I, I yeah. definitely understand that. I just, you know, whenever we can, I yep. appreciate that. And if it's, you know, really an urgent thing, then we deal with it. But if it's not, you know, I I will not vote on something if I don't understand it better. Mm -hmm. um, so if, even if I have to abstain, and that's that's fine too. But thank you so much. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay, so seeing a big time to vote. All those in favor? I have to have a roll call vote. Do you say that on this? Oh, I need to have a roll call vote. So, thank you, Kelly. Um, Rick, can we start with you? Liz, I. Chris, I. Beth, I. Holly, I. Tom, I. Judy, I. Kate, I. So that's seven to us. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. All right, and then we have one more item on deliberation. 
action is an emotion completed action of empire. Huh. You need a motion to authorize the board chairperson to represent the school board and acknowledge that the superintendent has consulted with all members of the school board in furtherance of the school board's obligations, including those enumerated in RSA 189-1-0 and pursuant to the school board's oversight of federal funds to visit the reissue and of the general insurance rate requirements and references to the situation in said schedule for that. Do you have a motion? So moved. Yeah, this is the uh, annual uh, requirement for general assurances that uh, came into play about three or four years ago, and we had reached out to legal counsel because in a lot of ways, it's an area where the board doesn't have as much oversight as with the regular finance through the federal funds, but the commissioner, uh, Ed, had decided at that time that he wanted that added. So the vote you take tonight is actually just allowing Holly's signature to say that you're aware that we receive federal dollars that those federal dollars, which is IDEA, Title IV, and Title II, um, and the REAP probably. Um, REAP and also um, the CARES Act funding. Right. All of that comes in and we have a certain level of responsibility. Uh, Gina coordinates the vast majority of the title grants. Bob and Amy coordinate the IDEA grant. And this just uh, provides the state with the assurances that we will not discriminate or do things that are outside the parameters for the use of the money. I think this was by done by motion because it was Tamara was the one who refused to sign, I think. Did you? I remember having conversations <laughs> about this. Well, what, what happened, uh, let me at least belabor it, but what happened was in its initial form, the board signature gave the same assurances that the superintendent's signature had. And we were not the only ones. A number of complaints went in because we don't have visibility. Right. Basically, Andy put his butt on the line with this, saying that all the people are doing everything possible to make sure it's done right and ethically. And we're saying that we trust Andy to in that role. Whereas previously, we were more like co-signing the loan yeah. and um, I think that it's it's safe for the board to sign this if we didn't think it was appropriate to sign it we shouldn't be contracting with the gentleman to be the superintendent right. mm -hmm. however I think it's a it's a borderline unreasonable expectation placed on the superintendent and um, I don't say don't sign it but I think that this is an attempt by the state to uh, to relieve itself of all responsibilities of their due diligence, and I, I object to that aspect of it, mm -hmm. but don't object to me signing it. Is there any other discussion on that? Then the vote. All those in favor? Seven. Okay. And uh, we vote sincerely, Andy. I mean, that's. I know. <laughs> no, I mean. Yep. Because there is a lot that goes with this. Mm -hmm. well, Tom, I appreciate that just because you're a new board member and we're going to kind of introduce this mm -hmm. as the standard practice. And it unfortunately is now standard practice, whether it should be standard practice is a whole different story. So right. I appreciate it kind of going back and kind of revisiting this mm -hmm. thing. It's helpful. So thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, there were, it was, this, was, this was controversial at one point just mm -hmm. because the first time we saw the language, it was bothersome. I was surprised that not four people were jumping up to be property controller for this meeting. Thank you, city. You've now fulfilled your obligation. The rest of you will be on staff next week. Okay. Um, I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Cindy, seconded by Liz. Um, all those in favor. And that is a six zero vote as Beth has just stepped out at 6.18 p.m. And we are now out of public session.